a couple of things I do with the spot, use a spotting scope for. Um, when I usually started blasting sequence, I always usually we use binoculars by the hand to look at all the most productive looking spots pretty quickly, you know, and get a good scan on everything. And then I'll usually go to the uh, start glassing by doing the tripod mounted binoculars. Um, you know, th this is the way to go if you're picking out animals, especially for deer. You know, elk, I don't need to necessarily go to this level unless I'm looking for bedded elk. But this is a big, a big change, you know, big advantage to go here. And then anytime I have any questionable spot or I'm looking a ways away and or, or I'm not just picking out anything and I need to get to that, find out what these bucks are looking like because sometimes it'll blend in so well, you got you to gotta look a little bit deeper. Uh, you know, I'll just use a spot. I'll, I'll use a spotter, um, you know, to look at them um, and see what they are, where what they are, and what I'm looking at. And sometimes I'll just use spotter to glass, you know, if I'm not seeing anything. And a lot of times it'll do the trick. Um, when I glass, I don't have a. I let the country tell me how to glass. Like say I got I got fingers going this way, like I'm looking at right over here. Uh, I don't glass this way. I'll glass down each of those fingers with both the spotter, eat one finger at a time, and then I'll go back to the next one. Now, if I'm looking at country that's more better at long ridge, I'll look right to left and the left to right, just kind of go back at one one level to the next and, and work the ridge. I always continue to go back to the most productive spots continuously. I'll go back and check them all, and then I'll use a spotter to, to verify anything. Um, and it gets a little later in the day when animals start bedding up. That's when I really start to use a spotter a little bit more. I'll start looking into bedding areas where I feel they're going to be bedding at. And I'll be looking into the trees, into the shadows. And that's where I often I often use these to pick up animals. It really works well during archery elk hunting. That's what people don't want to use elk. But man, I pick up bulls all the time when they're bedded up. Uh, and I use a spotting scope to do it. And they'll be bedded up under a tree. A lot of times they're under the, on, right under, under a ridge line into the trees. You know, just catch one body and all of a sudden shoot, you got 30 elk in a herd, you know. So, spotting scope is very valuable to take. Um, 